All right, so today we are gonna be showcasing the brand new Extreme Z Awakenings for STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Now, full disclosure, last night after I did the stream for their Extreme Z battle event, I basically passed right out because it was like 4 a.m. I was super tired and I just woke up about 30 minutes ago. So I really haven't had a chance to test these guys out. This will be my first time seeing them in action and I don't know exactly what to expect but I am expecting some very good things from both these units. Now with that said, before we get into the showcase, I want to quickly go over the details for both the Goku and the Vegeta uh, with their Extreme Z Awakenings. So if you guys already know what they do, then feel free to skip ahead about maybe a minute and we'll get into the gameplay. Okay, so starting with the Goku, Leader Skill is Super STR Type Ski plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 130%, or Extreme STR Type Ski plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 90%. Super Attack greatly raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage, greatly lowers defense, and raises defense by 30% for 6 turns. And his passive is Attack plus 150%, Defense plus 120%, plus an additional Attack plus 40%, when performing a super attack, medium chance of evading enemy super attacks, and countering with tremendous power. Now moving on to the Vegeta here. Leader skill is super AGL type, ski plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, and uh, extreme AGL type, ski plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack greatly raises defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and greatly lowers defense, and raises attack by 30% for 6 turns. And passive is identical to the Goku, attack plus 150%, defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack plus 40% when performing a super attack, and medium chance of evading enemy super attack, and countering with tremendous power. So there you go, that is the Goku and Vegeta. As you guys can see, uh, neither of them have skill orbs, but they are both uh, you know, fairly up there for link levels. Vegeta has one level 10 link, and mostly you know 7 slash 9. And then for the Goku, he doesn't have any level 10 links, but they're all like in the 7 to 9 range. Okay, so there you go. And now, it's finally time to see how these guys perform on arguably the hardest event on Global right now, the GT Legendary Goku event. And checking out the defense, uh, much improved, obviously. Much improved from before, 143k starting for Vegeta and 121k. For Goku, and uh, obviously, you know, for Goku especially, the defense will be increased over the course of the event as he gets more supers off, so we'll definitely keep an eye on that. But uh, yeah, let's give a few orbs to these guys, doesn't really matter uh, what we do. Okay, so I'll just give one orb to save with the uh, Fizz Goku at the end. I'll give these to Super Saiyan 4, and we'll give solid 8 to the GT Goku. Alright, here we go. I'm stoked, guys. Okay, so first, taking 118. Uh, did I see that right? Did, did I see that right? How much attack did he have? Was that 5 million? <laughs> What was that? <laughs> um Okay, you know, I'm not I'm not exactly sure what happened. I'm going to need to uh we're going to need to go back to that rotation and I'm going to have to take a closer look cuz I don't actually believe what I just saw, man. Five million. What's Goku gonna do, man? We didn't even get a chance to see Goku attack because Vegeta just finished him off. So what's Goku gonna do? And we're getting a support next turn too. Because we didn't have a support on turn one. We have the GT Goku. So now we're gonna get the Trunks and Goten with the 40% support, right? So... It should be hitting even harder. Okay, so we're gonna put we're gonna put Goku first this time. Yeah, Vegeta first. We're gonna put Goku first this time. And let's see. Um, 
Well, Goku. And, and two. I knew these guys were going to hit hard. I did not know it was going to be like this, man. I... Okay. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just stay quiet. Let's let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. What? <laughs> what? Yo, I'm so glad I stayed away from all the showcases. I'm so glad I didn't do any like personal testing before this video because like yo this is so much i had no idea they hit this hard man like on paper i knew they got a big boost i was like yo they're gonna hit hard for sure but i didn't do the calculations i was just like yo i'll just see once i get the easy a's this is unbelievable guys oh my god yo, we're taking so much damage <laughs> this event is hard guys i don't think we're gonna finish it for the showcase because it's gonna take too long so we'll probably just get through like the first uh you know, four or five phases, get a few attacks off with both the Goku and Vegeta, and then call it a day, you know, but... Holy crap, guys, I... I'm gonna lock- I can't believe my eyes, like, holy... What did they do? What did they do with Goku and Vegeta, man? Like, what are these Extreme Z Awakenings? And I haven't checked the defense yet, I'll have to check the defense in a second. Um... I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty pretty good. Uh, let's see. It's 153k for 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 Goku, 140k for Vegeta. Obviously, Vegeta greatly raises defense um, on his super, like once for for one turn, right? Oh uh, yeah, for one turn. So um, after he supers, he should be at like probably close to 200k, and then Goku's gonna steadily build over the next couple of turns with each super. So he should get close to 200k as well. Um, my god. My god, I don't... I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> I don't know what to say. We're just gonna... We're just gonna appreciate them. We're just gonna enjoy this. Oh my god, over 6 million for Vegeta too. Vegeta also getting over 6 million. And we're just... We're just nuking these guys, man. Holy crap, like... This is. I'm I'm trying to take a second to like appreciate just like what's going on right now, like how crazy this is. You know what I mean? Cause it's insane. Like guys, <laughs> Vegeta, I remember specifically was struggling to get like two million attacks that before the EZA. Like his his attack was not good. Pre EZA, his attack was not good, and this guy's putting out like six million. 5 million with no support, 6 million with a support? What is that? And then, and then Goku obviously was a beast always, right? He was always offensively a monster, and now he's just even more so, I guess, man. 6.7 on the first turn. First attack. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. They, uh... Did not hold back. You know how the Extreme Z battle's really hard? Or, or not really hard, but like, much harder than the average Extreme Z battle, right? And... I guess I can see why now. I guess I can see- I, I understand, I understand, because... You want to kind of tailor the difficulty of the Extreme Z battle event to how good the EZA is. Just like how like, you know, Goku and Freeze's EZA is really hard. Uh, LR Broly's EZA is really hard, but those are amazing, amazing units after their EZAs. And same goes for these guys, man. Same goes for Goku and Vegeta. Because they are... Oh my god, they're so good. They are so good. Are they better than the LR counterparts? Maybe. I, I, I think I, I think they might be. I really do. I don't, I don't know if, like, am I exaggerating? Am I just like in the moment right now, maybe, but like, my Super Saiyan 4 Goku does not get attacked this high. My Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta does not get attacked anywhere close to that high. The only advantage, of course, is the fact that the LR Super Saiyan 4s have better leader skills, obviously, and, you know, the, the active skills, right? But aside from that, I mean, aside from that, I don't... 
I don't know if there are any other advantages for the LRs, you know what I mean? Like, they... They might have made the TURs better than the LRs, guys. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna pop a Princess Snake because I don't want to affect the next turn. Where I still want to test their, you know, tanking ability a little bit more. Um, hopefully the GT Goku does not get supered because that would really suck. But we'll, we'll, we'll probably survive still. Like, when I do showcases on this event, I'm gonna have to be really careful, right? Because, like, we all know what, uh... Ooh. Yeah, we all know what this event is capable of. We all know how hard these, uh, these, you know, GT Goku's hit. Especially this, this, this Golden Ape, actually. It's Golden Ape is ridiculous. I'm pretty sure he hits harder than all the other Gokus. I think he does. But, uh, anyways, guys, we're gonna do a few more turns here. I, I actually, like, I'm, like, in shock right now. <laughs> I really am, like... I don't know if you can tell, but it, 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 it was a really good call. Yeah, I gotta say, it was a really good call not um, testing them out, not, not, you know, watching any showcases. I just wanted to experience this first ad for myself, and I, it was an experience, man. It was an experience. Oh, my God. Okay, um... So we're gonna play it safe. I'm gonna put Vegeta there. He should be fine. I'm gonna give him uh give him one AGL orb. We'll heal up a little bit for Goku with those. Oh, token attack. Ooh, look at Goku's defense. 186,000. 186,000. So almost 100k right there. And yeah, let's see what this token. Maybe we can just just kill the ape with uh token attack here. Let me get it perfect. I'm a focus. Let's go. One, two, three. Oh, perfect. Four, five, six. Thank you. It's almost like they knew we we're doing a showcase, man. All right, so Vegeta with the six million attacks that once again, and it should be over. This should do it. I don't think. Um, I don't think he's surviving this, man. I don't think anybody's surviving this. Ooh, he is alive. Oh, that's good. That's good. We get to see Goku attack too. Six point seven. And he's dead. It's over. God, they're so good. <laughs> they're so good. You love to see it, man. Love to see it. All right, we we should be okay for this turn, um, because of all the uh, you know the two Fizz Goku's, and then obviously Gogeta still has some really good defense. So I think we'll be fine. If we die on this turn, though, I. No, I have no regrets. <laughs> I have no regrets. I think um, we should keep this video under 20 minutes or for, for it to be easier to watch for most, most people. And uh, yeah, man, if we die here, you know, that's that's fine. We got to see exactly what we needed to see from Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. That's what we came here for. And uh, we saw a lot. We saw a lot. I don't know if you guys can tell, man. I'm so happy right now <laughs> like I'm ridiculously happy about how just amazing they made these easy is um and I'm so glad that all Dokkan players get to experience it at the same time you know what I mean like both global and JP players get to experience this power together we don't have to wait like five months or whatever is the usual wait time for these things like like it's, it's on both global and JP right now so yeah man it's it's just it's awesome. Oh my god, look at his defense. 230k. 230k. You know what? Usually, you never want to leave Goku, you know, to, to open to any attacks, right? Like, before the EZA, that is. He, he was a liability on defense a lot of times. But now, he's actually going to be a tank for me. He's going to be a tank for me. Let's go. Goku, show me what you can do, man. No items. Just, just his pure defense. Taking double digits. Like a champ. Yep. 6.7 attack. Uh, once he's maxed out, he'll probably get close to like 7 mil, I'm assuming, with links. Uh, I'm not sure, but he's close. He's close, right? So, like, it shouldn't be that different from like a rainbow Goku at this point. And then Vegeta, you know, eating those supers. Very well, too. Watch that one attack at the end, though, be a super. That one attack against the Go Bros. It's gonna be a super, and it's gonna kill us. Just watch. Oh. There was a pause. I was like, oh my god, it's actually happening. 
Not the additional. But they should be quite a bit more tanky now. Alright. Okay. Tech Go Bros showing out. GT Go Bros. I like that. I like that. Wow. Alright. So I guess they want us to keep going for a little bit longer. That's cool. Um, ooh, this is something that you guys don't get to see a lot, so let me just pop that. And I'll watch this uh glorious animation. Now, I I have I have realized recently that like even though it's a great animation, the, the there's a weird like thing with the frame rate where like it's just not very good, you know, like the frame rate's kinda low. I don't know why that is. But it doesn't bother me too much, but I know some people really uh don't like it which is fine which is fine i still think the animation itself is beautiful but they could have made it smoother that's for sure you know for an animation that you barely see right like you almost never see like we got this on turn 12. <laughs> we got that animation that super attack uh or active skill rather on turn 12. so yeah it's just not something you see a lot and for something that's that rare you know maybe they could have uh Increase the frame rate a little bit, but it is what it is. It is what it is. We're not we're not here to complain about that. I don't really care too much to be honest. All I care about right now is freaking Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta, man. Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta, dude, it's just crazy, crazy. Okay, so we're probably gonna die this turn because I don't want to pop any items. I just want to, you know, see their their pure defense. And while well, I think Vegeta and well, I think Vegeta and Goku will hold up okay. Uh, I don't necessarily trust this Goku. We'll see though. We'll see though. He, he like after he supers, he's actually pretty good defensively. So, um, yeah, we're, we'll just let it. You know, we'll just ride it for as long as we can. If we get supered at some point and and get killed, then I'm okay with that. Yeah, look at Super Saiyan 4 Goku still taking double, triple digits on the final stage here on the super full power Saiyan 4 Goku. That's what I like to see, man. That's what I like to see. And then Vegeta here with the type advantage. Let's see what he takes. Hmm, okay. So, as expected, much more damage. But... Not too crazy, actually. You know? 14, 15k. Considering how much damage he does to, like, a lot of other units. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta with the type of disadvantage taking only, you know, 10, 15k. Is more than acceptable, I think. That is more than acceptable. Oh, oh, here we go. Over. Is this it? Is this the end? Ooh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> well, that's what I expected. That's what I expected. And, you know, I'm actually kind of... I'm kind of thankful because, uh, like I said, I wanted to keep this video under 20 minutes. That is exactly where we're going to end it. And, uh, guys, I mean, what can I say about this Goku and this Vegeta that I haven't said already? They're incredible, man. They are amazing. They're they're beasts. They're monsters. They're insane. Whatever adjective you want to use to describe them, they're that. You know, they're just. I love it. <laughs> um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about both these units. I can't imagine anybody having any complaints because you shouldn't. I mean, massive damage numbers. Amazing defense. We didn't even get to see a counter, actually, but we could have countered, too. That was something that was missing from the showcase, but sometimes you just don't get the, you know, supers in the right places, right? So, it's fine. They do counter for quite a bit of damage, though, I'm pretty sure. Just just looking by, like, judging by how much damage they do on their supers, their counters are probably going to do, like, at least a million plus, right? So, um, yeah, that's going to be clutch in, in events for sure. And... That's it, guys. That's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. If you liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. Hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows if you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.